Good Monday morning, Brighton, and welcome to this week's edition of Just So You Know. A quick update on a few things happening in the district. First and foremost, reopening. Just want you to know we continue to talk about this constantly internally and are looking at every plan possible, what it would take logistically, how quickly we could bring kids back. Two things need to happen. The infection rate needs to keep going down. So keep doing what you're doing at home. Much appreciated. The second is social distancing. The six foot requirement would have to be changed by the state guidelines. The CDC guidelines may inform state guidelines, but we have no new rules yet from the state. So we'll be seeing if any changes come from then. But I want you to know that we are well prepared to manage any of those changes. We will be asking you soon. So stay tuned for a survey that simply says, if these are the scenarios, if this is what school could look like for kids to come back five days, what would you be interested in doing? How do you feel about that as a family? We would want you to weigh in on that. And certainly that's geared towards even now, this point in the year, we're going into next year. Just want you to know we're planning for that. Second, budget presentation tomorrow night to the Board of Education, essentially a preliminary budget proposal. Our priorities right now, full day kindergarten, keeping the programs that we have, and staying under the tax cap. We're looking at a combination of longer term financing strategies to manage that. We still need our foundation aid picture to be fixed. Senator Cooney and Assemblymember Clark have a bill in to give a floor in the formula so the state would provide more of that aid. We're getting less than half of what we should. Keep fighting for that. Fight for Brighton. Thank you very much. Everybody's done such a great job around that, but we don't want to keep keeping, keep putting kids right now in the balance in that conversation and that unpredictability, that frustration that that causes internally and externally. So we're looking right now to solve that issue right now for next year, make some of those decisions, and then get the word out to people. We know many people are waiting for us to commit to full day K. Expect those conversations and those communications to come out this week. Take a look at the Friday e news. Schools to watch, the middle school is just redesignated. Quite a program that basically says other schools in New York State should replicate what happens at our middle school. It's quite a prestigious honor. It's detailed in the Friday e news. Get your Bruins gear, by the way, too. A uh, sale, a store is up, I think, through the 15th. So take a look at that and get your new. Um, orders in so you can have your snazzy Bruins gear too. There's also great information in that e-news about meals available over the April break. They're available all the time, but meals available. Anybody in the community 19 and under qualifies for these meals and we will have a uh, sign up for that. Come pick them up. We'd love to provide that for you. That's a program through the federal government as well, but that's for everybody to participate in. And finally, Read Across America happened um, in the buildings in French Road specifically Wednesday. A lot of readers from the community. Thank you for participating. Thank you, Bruins. Have a great week. Take care. Enjoy some sunshine and some warmer weather. Just so you know, we'll see you next week.